This is a magic box and this is an unusual school teacher. Patolo travels up to 30 kilometers per day, visiting village schools with his little science laboratory on his motorbike. He's part of an innovative project to make learning fun and hands-on for children in rural schools across India. Today we are going to the Bisanatham school. We've taken the classes for 6th and 7th class students. Today we will explain about light topic. The Agastya Foundation runs a fleet of 100 motorbikes bringing mobile science labs to schools where none exist. When we take the boxes into the schools, the children are very excited to see us. They love the new activities and experiments. The idea has come from us when we started innovating on how do we reach. How do we reach more people for less cost? How do we reach more remote people? How do we reach them in a modular, simpler fashion? As Patolu arrives, the children at this government school are hard at work. Apart from its four classrooms and an office, the school has few facilities. The first things that we give to an infant are toys. Why do we do that? Because the touch and feel is the way it learns. Now, this just doesn't exist in rural India. To bring all this to rural India, something like a lab on a bike is very, very useful. The children's excitement is evidence of the scheme's success. Through boxes containing over a hundred experiments, concepts like reflection, optics and molecular biology come to life. The lessons are aimed at kids aged 10 and older. During these visits, the school mantra changes from chalk and talk to touch and feel. Our teacher teaches us through words. But here we learn through words and with experiments. We need both. It would be great if he comes every day. It would be very exciting. Children remember what was taught and absorb it. It's satisfying for me too when the children answer questions later in class. The lab in a box was developed by the Agastya Foundation's Kupam campus. Its team of passionate educationalists aim to create engaging science and maths models adapted to the budgets and logistics of rural schools. If you set up a science centre in a school, it's only for that children right then and there. And it costs quite a lot to set up, it costs quite a lot to run. In a shared services model, where both the infrastructure and the soft infrastructure, which is teachers, are shared amongst several schools. Automatically, the costs come down because you divide it by a, a factor of 10 or 20 or 30, depending on the number of schools that you serve. In a lab on a bike, so it's even better because the vehicle is now less than one-tenth the mobile lab. Children tell me they've learned something and find the experiments very interesting. They want to know when I'll be back and what experiments will be next. Children are never a challenge in general. Once you give them the opportunity to learn, they will just absorb it. We're not even skimming the top. There's so much more to reach. There's so much more to do. There is so much more you can do in content, different things in the lab, different ways of reaching children, different pedagogy. It's just endless, the possibilities are phenomenal.